hello friends this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video we are going to talk about the spring data jpa custom queries with query methods so till yet we have seen that we had created a spring boot uh, using a spring data jpa and we have used uh, uh, existing api uh, in interface is called uh, crud repository right so sometimes suppose you have a requirement to write your own custom queries then how flexible is a spring data jpa in that so that's the thing we are going to discuss in this video and uh, next video onwards we'll have a hands-on uh, on the same so let's uh, go through the slide now a spring data jpa provides three different approaches for creating custom queries with query methods First approach, you have a creating database queries from method names. So we have a three sections. Uh, first section says creating database queries from method names. And this describes how uh, we can create database queries from the method names of the R query methods. So uh, we'll have to follow some, uh, some rules to uh, specify the query method and from that query method a spring data jpa will uh, derive the query sql query so that we will discuss in this point now next point we have a creating database queries uh, with named queries this is very much similar to what we have done in the jpa or uh, or hibernate right so you write the entity class and uh, on the top of the entity class you, can, you may use at the rate named queries or or at the rate named queries a named node native queries and you can specify the either jpql or hibernate query language hql or native query by using those annotations so same we are going to this point basically describes how we can create database queries by using named queries and third point we are going to discuss creating database queries with the at at rate query annotations right so this describes how we can create database queries by annotating our query method with, with add query annotation, right? So add query is the new addition in the uh, Spring Data JPA. This uh, annotation you will not get in the uh, like JPA implementer like Hibernate, right? So let's start discussion on these three three points. Now, uh, first point. Let's uh, take first point. Uh, query creation from uh, method names now a spring data jpa has a built-in query creation mechanism which can be used for parsing queries straight from the method name of the query method uh, this mechanism first removes common prefixes from the method name and parses the constraints of query from the rest of the uh, method name the query builder mechanism is described with more details in the uh, defining query methods say, subsection of the spring data jpa reference documentation if you want to know more details how basically query is getting built uh, from the method name that in that uh, if you want to know about the more details then you can refer the spring data reference documentation for that now using this approach is quite simple all you have to do is to ensure that the method names of your repository interface are created by combining the property name of your entity object and uh, and supported keywords the query creation subsection of the spring data jpa reference documents documentation has a nice example concerning the uh, uh, usage of supported keywords right so uh, if you go to the google if you go to the google and here you can type uh, a spring data jpa official website then you will get the very first link over here a second link you get uh, got it over here and here you have a lot of query methods and all those stuff here you can see you can create your own repository by extending repository interface and uh, again you can create your repository by extending person uh, uh, your, you can create a repository by extending this interface repository interface 
and here you can write a method right you can write find by and this is the property name right that is in camel case and this method name says find by last name and you need to pass the last name and this return type you can specify as the uh, uh, list of person and you need to call this method from your service class right or from main method you can call directly and this will have to auto back then in that case a uh, spring data jp is going to fire a query basically select a star from employee where last name equal to this name whatever you are going to supply so this way from this method basically uh, that query is getting derived so find means select query by means uh, based on the certain properties whatever property you are mentioning over here so from this name a spring data a, a spring a jpa is capable to drive the sql query so we'll see we'll write we'll have a certain some hands on in next video tutorial now this is the uh, way to create a way to derive a sql query from method name that's that's all about the first point now uh, and let's try to understand these things through the source code source code i have given over here as well the source source code of repository method which is using this approach is given in the following so as you have followed my uh, previous video there we had created this people management DAW and that extends uh, here repository and that text person which is entity class and integer that is a type of our primary key so you can define your repository by extending the existing repository class or CRUD repository uh, interface sorry this is an interface not a class so you can create your own repository interface by extending repository interface or CRUD repository interface and there are some more repository interface so as of now we'll add here with the, these two repository and current repository and here we can define method like this what i have shown in the spring uh, data jpa uh, documentation website and you can write find by last name and last name you can pass and from this method so if from this method uh, a spring data jpa is capable to derive the sql query now uh, now jpa named queries third point we have a jpa named query a spring data jpa provides also support for the jpa named queries you can have you can have got following alternatives for declaring the named queries you can use either named query xml element uh, these things you can configure in the xml or uh, add the rate named query annotation to create the named query with the jpa query language right so add the rate named query you can use before your entity class and there you can specify your query name as well as query itself jpql itself uh, now next you can use either named native query in xml uh, xml file itself you can specify but xml uh, xml fashion is not uh, a anymore used in the now uh, annotation world right now, now annotation uh, has a good support in the java itself if you have a native query means sql query then you can you may use at the rate named query before the your entity class and there you can specify uh, your uh, native query and some other attributes so that uh, spring data jpa will understand uh, uh, this named native query is binded with which uh, entity class basically so at named native query annotation to create queries with sql if you are ready to tie your application with a specific data based platform and if you write a sql that is a basically tie up with your data store right so that the way we write sql query uh, in my sql might change how we write in the oracle right so, but if you are writing jpql that is object oriented fashion to write a sql query so if your database vendor is going to change then if you have a jpql then that is not going to change that's the thing i wanted to point out over here the only thing you have to do to use the created named query is to name the query method of your repository interface to uh, match with the name of the your named query i have chosen to specify the named query by using at the rate named query annotation in my entity class 
So example you can see over here. So I have a person entity class right if you would have followed my previous video here before the entity class you can use at the named query and here query name you can specify person dot find by name and query is select p p is alias of person entity class from person p where p dot last name equal to question mark one so if you have a one parameter then question mark one and if you have a second parameter suppose if you want to select based on the last name and email then you can um, write a, a jpql select p from person p where p dot last name equal to question mark one and p dot email equal to question mark two something like that so this is a way to write the jpql now uh, this entity class is very much understood by you in previous video tutorial and this is self-explanatory right and uh, this jpql you can access by this name person dot find by name find by name is your method name which you are going to define in your repository interface and uh, this is the, the relevant part of uh, my people management DAW interface looks uh, like following so you, uh, we have we have to define our repository by extending repository interface uh, he, here you can take other repository interface as well right so here you can you can have a you can see fi method name will have to specify same find by name right and here jpql you can see person dot find by name so after dot uh, you have a method name and from this method name you can access here right but here you have option to specify method name whatever method name you want you can specify over here and same name you need to specify over here now let's now drawback drawback of jpa named query approach using named queries is uh, is valid option if you if your application is a small or if you have to use native queries if your application has a lot of custom queries this approach will litter the code of your entity class with query declaration uh, right so basically uh, you can of course use xml configuration to avoid this but uh, in my opinion this approach is even more horrible right so if you have many entity class then everywhere you are going to scatter your uh, native query uh, native query as well as jpql and that might be horrible now third approach we have uh, to define uh, by at the rate query annotation so at rate query annotation can be used to create queries by using the jpa query language and bind these methods directly to the method of your repository interface when the query method is called a spring data jpa will execute the query specified by the at query annotation right if there is a collision between at rate query annotation and the named queries the query specified by the at query annotation will be executed right so at rate query has a preference than named query now here is the source code here you can see uh, this is just a previous example but uh, here you can see uh, at query I have specified I have used at query and here I have specified the jpql so select p from person p p is the alias of person where you can convert p dot last name into lower case so here you can call the function as well and where lower dot colon last name so colon last name this is the uh, this is the your named parameter and this named parameter you will have to pass as a parameter uh, named parameter you will have to pass like this at the rate from this name and uh, this name you can give anything right so last so uh, named parameter you will have to uh, uh, catch by using at at perm annotation uh, and this way uh, caller has to pass last name right so basically what happens uh, you convert the column name into lower case and then you are trying to compare right and you will get the list of uh, employees list of persons uh, for the uh, matched last name so this approach gives you access to the uh, jpa query language so 
that's all in this video tutorial thanks for watching this video and see you next